is like built for cavemen. <laughs> What's up, maniacs? My name's Joshua James. Howdy, I'm Mike. And you read the title right. I'm back reviewing the Halloween movies, but unfortunately, Mr. Bones can't be with us. But I got my buddy Mike here, and he's got a good backstory about this Halloween movie. Halloween H2O, 20 years later, we're watching. Yeah, it's been like 20 years since I've even seen Halloween <laughs> H2O, and it was the first one I'd ever seen from the Halloween movies. So this was your first ever Halloween movie you ever saw in your life? Yeah. The first one I'd ever seen. I didn't even know there was others until it, like a year later. <laughs> so, and then I watched all of those. <laughs> well, anyways, well, uh, in this review, like I've said before, this is not going to be like your typical review. We're going to go off a couple of times, like random and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, like the super sweet Mario jump in the beginning of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> And the sad part about this movie is, unfortunately, uh, Dr. Samuel Loomis, a.k.a. Donald Pleasance, is not in this movie because, unfortunately, he passed away back in 96, I believe, right after Halloween 6 was released. So. Yeah. It was about 96, yeah. Ah. Yeah, Aria's over here, too. She watched it with us, too. She didn't get scared. She danced a lot during the uh, the, when the Halloween theme song. So. Yeah, she did. <laughs> She's going to be a little psychopath. It's okay. Anyways, we see the nurse from the first Halloween movie, which is funny because like, how about you? How about you talk about it, Mike? Because this is the part that you love and talk talking about the most. You go first. Oh my god, I don't even remember the context. Wasn't she running back to the neighbor's house? Yes. Yeah. So this nurse, she shows up at her house in the beginning of the movie. Windows broken. These teenagers check it out. Well, one of them does, and he messes up her pots and pans, which was and funny. Steals one. And steals one, yeah. Steals and, one of her beers. Yeah, steals a beer. And later that night, she's in her house, and Michael Myers is there, and she gets away. But when she jumps into her neighbor's yard, she literally does, like, a Mario, a Mario jump. <laughs> and I swear I could hear her hit the coin box. <laughs> <laughs> so. And as you re and also there's a backstory about the teenagers in the movie too that in the, who entered the house. I just showed you who it was. Yeah, uh, fuck, I forgot his name. Wasn't John something? Ah, uh, what the hell was that guy's name? <laughs> I already forgot. It was John or Jason something. Anyways, we'll anyway we'll get back to it. <laughs> He's a famous movie star. We that's all we know. Anyways. Uh, we see Jamie Lee Curtis. Cool. Jamie Lee Curtis is badass. Yeah, she, she, she's says. really awesome. She's <laughs> she's really awesome in the movie. She's really awesome in most stuff she does. But all, in this one, you kind of feel bad for her because she still haunted what happened to her yeah. uh, 20 years ago on I Halloween night. I still think how they uh, set that up in the classroom when she was like talking. Oh, man. What was... What was the context? They were talking about Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. And wanting to know how come Frankenstein, or Victor Frankenstein could confront his monster after his girlfriend Elizabeth's death, or wife's death. And this girl was like, because right then and there, he had nothing to win or lose because he took away everything he loved. And I think that's going to be the premises for the new movie coming out Friday. Which I'm <laughs> stoked to see. So i got to get Me these too. reviews done before that new one comes out. I know I've been holding off of them. It's just Mike's been busy uh, with life in general, pretty yeah. much. Uh, Mr. Bones has been that busy. Life, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bones has been busy because he's moving. Chris has been busy with work, and I've been busy with uh, work too. So, what's Joseph your... Gordon Lovett. Joseph Gordon Lovett. Okay. Baby girl, you're okay. Uh, she wants to be in a review too. <laughs> She's just fighting sleep. I know she is. She's being a little butthead. Are you fighting sleep, little monster? Come here. Come join us. Ah. Anyways, what else has been happening is that oh, Jamie, Lee Cur Jamie Lee Curtis. Well, I should just call her by her word, what she's called is uh, uh, Jamie Lloyd. I think so. No, Lloyd Strode. Lloyd Strode. Jamie Lloyd is the uh, the daughter from yeah. Following Four and Five. That's right. Sorry. 
Yeah, her name's Jamie. And Anyways, uh, she's been pretty much making her son a, uh, his life a living hell, pretty much. Yeah. But in a way, can you really blame her? No, I mean, I can, but I can't, because, like, you got a psychopath in the family who never seems to die and wants to chop people's head. Chop people up like he's just a crazy butcher. <laughs> I think he should turn away from his life of serial killing and get a job at a butchery. But he might kill his boss if he makes him mad. I'm sure there's thousands of employees out there who have felt <laughs> that way at some point. <laughs> a baby. Yeah, you want daddy's beard. Anyways, like, for some odd reason, uh, now Jamie. <laughs> Lori has legally changed her name. Yeah. I don't even know to what. Tate. Wasn't it? I think, I'm not sure. Yeah, they called her Mrs. Tate. Yeah, and uh, because she didn't want Michael to find her, which... Mrs. Bates called her Mrs. Tate. Yeah. Her mommy. Yeah, that's the funny part. There's a scene in this movie <laughs> that you get to see <laughs> the original screen, screen queen... From the uh, original Psycho film. Yeah, I don't remember what her name was. It's gonna bug me, but I know that. Uh, um... To Google. To Google. <laughs> <laughs> Always Google when you don't know. Yeah, true. Anyways, <laughs> uh, uh, we get to see Lori's mom in the movie, which was actually pretty cool. It was. It was an interesting twist. It was. I was like, that's gotta be weird. On so many levels. It probably is, but at the same time, it's like you've always known your mom as the uh, Scream Queen, and now you've kind of replaced her. Yeah, Janet Lee. Ah, uh, okay. That's her name. Norma Watts. Anyways, uh, we see that... Uh, uh, Lee Lori, uh, uh, Lori Strode is dating, like, the head principal? Yeah, his name is Adam Arkin. Arkid? Arkin? I just saw him. <laughs> He's in a bunch of movies, too, and he yeah, always... Yeah, I've seen him, too, in a lot of movies. He always plays really weird roles. I don't... I'm not really a fan. Like, he's kind of funny, but he's kind of a douche. He looks like a douche in real life, too. <laughs> He does! <laughs> He looks like a t Adam Arkin. Adam Arkin, okay. Yeah. Just leave that on the web. Leave it right there for yeah. a little bit until we need some more. Yeah, I'm going back to the cast. Yeah. And, and then we see um, Lori's son, uh, who's pretty much getting tired of his mom because, well, in a way, I could, I could get it, but at the same time, you need to Josh, understand. His name is Josh Harnett. Yeah. Uh, well, you could kind of understand how he feels, but at the same time, you could understand why. Lori's well, yeah, crazy. Yeah, the fucking... Michael I mean, what would you do if your brother was a famous serial killer that happened 20 years ago like that? Ooh, I got a brother, but if it's one of my sisters, I don't know how I'd react. I'd probably want to kill them, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's different, because, like, I don't know, if I had a brother and they were a serial killer and I had survived all that shit, I would probably... Have a higher level of PTSD than I already have. You need to go to counseling for for sure. Yeah, I did for a while. That shit's not fun. That shit makes you feel like a non uh, indestructible psychopath. Mm -hmm. That's what therapy makes you feel like. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, we see a lot of students go into this camp that. Ugh. What? Students in camps. It's always horror movies. Students in camps, man. Yeah, they're already sending their students to Camp Crystal Lake. <laughs> oh, that would have been interesting. That would have been a good twist. I would love for a Jason versus Michael Myers, actually. That's something we haven't seen. Oh, that also reminds me. They are doing the Freddy versus Jason, too. Yeah, which... Comes out next year, 2020. I don't remember, but... That's good. That's going to be interesting. And they're supposed to be doing Leprechaun versus Chucky, but that was supposed to come out like eight years ago. But it got canceled. Ah, Jesus Christ. Yeah. These movie people need to get on it, man. <laughs> yeah, it was a funny. That would have been a good twist, though, like an after credit scene showing, like, the students who are camping. You see a guy wearing a <laughs> hockey mask in the background. <laughs> Anyways, like, uh, then I don't know where Jamie realizes, like, her son, she has put him through hell. 
for 17 years. 17 long, frustrating years. I don't think so. You were too young for chips. In her mind, she's like, you're never too young. No, we are not sponsored by Doritos. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we were just eating them. They were good. They are delicious. <laughs> Anyways, like, uh, then she realized, and she allowed him to go to the camp, which, by the way, uh, he didn't go. Because his girlfriend's staying at the school, same with their two friends. See, that's the problem with teenagers in horror movies. They're always thinking with the wrong head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're not thinking with their brain either, they're thinking about the other brain. Yeah, that's their what hormones. They're using. <laughs> Have you realized every horror movie has a teenager that's thinking with their hormones? Yeah, there's always teenage sex in horror movies, and it's weird. Not this one. Well, not this one, but there's... The idea's there. He went and set up the basement to make it a whole special thing for his girlfriend. Yeah. With a big old sign across the couch that obviously came out of a thrift store. (laughs) (laughs) It says, Happy Halloween. He could have done way better. Little more effort. She's letting you guys know how much she liked the movie, too. But there are some things that she didn't agree with. Are you a baby girl? Go night-night. You're okay. Shh. Shh. What is your problem? <laughs> Show me your war cry. Ah! Ah! Is that your uncle? Can we do our review, please? Your Highness. Oh, she wants No, she just wants to fight sleep. Ah, I see. Being a butthead. Come here. Come here, baby. Ah. Ah. Is that your uncle? Hey, babies. Can you let us do our review? Hmm? Alright. What cuddle daddy is that it? Ah, that's what she wants. Probably. Come here. Come here, baby. Mommy be home in a few hours, okay? Maybe like two. I'm not sure yet. Closer to 11. I know that for a fact. What? You want to play? Here. While we do this, play on the floor. (laughs) Anyways. Uh, Back back on topic. (laughs) So overall, though, it's a good movie. But there are some stupid things in the movie. <laughs> Even though, like, it's been 20 years and... Yeah, it... They could have made... It seems, as compared to the rest, because... Resurrection even feels longer than H2O. Like, all the other Halloween movies seem We'll get to Resurrection. Longer. Oh yeah, that's happening next. <laughs> oh my god. Trick or treat, mother... <laughs> What are you staring at? Hey, you psychopath. A funny, the funny thing is about this movie is like, we don't see Michael kill a lot of people. No, he, he just... He killed like, what, like three or four people? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Extra crispy original recipe. <laughs> he killed he, the two teenagers. He killed the nurses. He yeah. killed... Uh, Two more teenagers. He killed this goth chick and, like, stuck a light bulb down inside her. And the first thing Mike came up with when he saw that... Did you order original recipe or extra crispy? Space Jam. (laughs) It's the best line in Space Jam. And, um... And then he kills the principal. Yeah, he killed the principal. He straight up stabbed him in the back and held him in the air. Four teenagers. One adult. That's five people he killed. Well, he did wound her son. He stabbed him right in the leg. Yeah, but of all the kills that he's done, this is, um... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, a lot of the other movies, there's a lot more... Death? Michael killing people. And a lot of Michael, we barely see Michael on this movie until, like, in the end. Like, I know we're gonna do a thing on Resurrection, but... go Resurrection, there was a lot of death. A lot of death. <laughs> and they were all caused... By him. Even the people pretending to be him. Lots of death. Save that for the next review. Don't take... <laughs> Anyways, uh, we finally get to the uh, school scene where 
Lori realizes that the birthday card that was sent to uh, to her son wasn't from the dad. It's from her brother. <laughs> Which must be really awkward if you think about it. That would be awkward to come to find out. Oh, your birthday card wasn't from your dad. It's it from was from your, your serial killer uncle. Yeah, it's from your psychopathic murdering uncle who's been hunting me my entire life. Happy birthday, son! <laughs> Jesus. Like, I love horror movies, but there's not a whole lot of logic that goes into them. No. <laughs> like, I like... You know, I like the good slasher flicks. I like the Halloween movies. I like, you know, the Friday the 13th movies. I like Scream. The first yeah. two. Anything after that were just shit. I went to go see Scream 4 when it first came out in theaters. I haven't seen I went on the date when, to go see it. I haven't seen Scream 4. It's... Isn't that the one that just came out not that long ago? Like, yeah. Well, we were in high school two. still when we were... Oh, yeah, that's right. No, they just released another one. I think that's Scream 5. No, that's the Scream series, the TV series. Oh, okay. No, because they had a movie coming out, too. They were supposed to have Scream 5, but it got canceled. (sighs) Yeah, Scream 1 was good. Scream 2 was good. I've only seen 2, 1, 2, and 4. I've never seen the third one. Uh, The third one, I remember being a complete waste of time. That's why they told me. (laughs) But I never saw Ford. Ford looked really good. It's oh, right. another slasher flick. I know what you did last summer. That's oh, yeah, that's a good one. one. Yeah, definitely a good one. So. Uh, speaking of which, uh, this is a film and made by the same people who made the Scream movie as we saw Yeah, Scream playing in the background. Yeah, and not just that. We also saw uh, Norma Bates, so there's obviously a connection there. Or Norma Watts. Janet Lee, and it said that in the opening credits of this movie, Janet Lee as Norma, so there's <laughs> obviously a connection there too, but apparently every human who never just seems to die always brandishes the biggest knife they find in the kitchen. Sorry about that. Uh, my phone ran out of uh, storage space. So I had to delete uh, some stuff off of my phone so I could make room. <laughs> had to delete a few games on my phone. Oh, man. So. That's the worst. At least you don't have a straight talk phone, man. They get, like, I take four pictures and my storage space is full. I hear that so much. Right. Can't wait hey. till we get new phones. Anyway. Anyways, uh, where were we? Uh, we were talking about the school scene and the original recipe or extra crispy. Oh, uh, yeah. We were talking about uh, Norma Watts, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis's mom, uh, Janet Lee. And the funny, funny thing is now is like uh, two of the other students are dead. One was looking for the the uh, champagne. The corkscrew. He dropped yeah. it down the garbage disposal. And you were thinking he's like, oh, his hand's gonna get cut off. Nothing happened until he turns around and sees Michael. Yeah. Uh, you want to hear something funny about this movie? Even more hilarious. He spent a lot of time stalking. Not just that. It has to do with be like behind the scenes. Huh. There were multiple Michael Myers masks. Shh. They could not make up their minds. So there's a few scenes in the movie that you could see the difference. Mm, yeah. Like, for instance, when the guy turns around and sees Michael after he got the court screw. Yeah. His mask that he was wearing was so bad, they had the CGI in it. <laughs> and the CGI one looks horrible. Yeah, they didn't do a very good job with... As compared to using William Shatner's face before. <laughs> I guess you could say he had shat on his face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't get me wrong. I I like William Shatner, but... You crazy. He's got a weird face anyway. He does. kind of looks like a British bulldog. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> he does. He looks like a little British bulldog, man. Anyways, uh, then we get to see the chase scene. Michael killed two of the teenagers. Now he's trying to kill his nephew and his ne- and his girlfriend. Yeah, and the nephew got stabbed in the leg. Which... The girlfriend got a rock. Well, her name's Molly. And yeah, Molly. Molly and rock, John. Hits, uh, hits Michael in the, f- in, in the head with a rock. And then they're just running. 
Come here. Come here. Kiddo, come on. Come here. She's one of those, huh? Yeah, she will. <laughs> She's just being a stinker about it right now. Yeah. Then Jamie finally shows up at the uh, the school. Oh, yeah. When they were banging on the door trying to get in. Uh, let me put that in context. They were actually, like, hitting a door trying to get in. Um, <laughs> Where there was no one inside the building. Yeah. It was just them. Until the last minute. Yeah. So they were lucky. And then Jamie Lee Curtis and her boyfriend showed up and let him in. And the main principal <gasps> dies. Yeah. He, try he thought he saw Michael, shoots the security guard. Who and lived. Yeah. Which, I'm glad, by the way. Yeah, he lived. He was funny. And Writing those love stories. <laughs> now it's going to be a thriller. Yeah, a love romantic story. thriller. I was like, that sounds like a whole new genre of movies. It does, doesn't it? Sounds like the Charlie maybe, Manson story. Or maybe he was writing uh, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> I don't remember if that was written by a dude or a woman. A woman. That explains it. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, then, um, after when the boyfriend dies, uh, then we get to see this chase scene. Um, then I don't know where they get in the car, which Jamie Lloyd is having a tough time trying to turn on. Typical horror movie. Yep. But then we see Michael, he's not even running, he's just taking his time. He's just strolling like he's in Central Park. Yeah, he's like, he knows he could catch up. Oh, you almost had it. Got a bit quicker than that. <laughs> and it finally makes it there, and the car turns on, drives off. Jamie get, opens the gate, tells Molly and John to go to next door, pretty much, to tell them to call the cops. They drive off, and then we see um, uh, Jamie closing the gate back again, breaking the gate lock, so she could be locked in there with Michael. She gets the axe, and then an uh, awesome scene in the movie where she's outside in the dark where the school is. Michael's nowhere to be found, and she just shouts his name and just calls him out. Yeah, and he just, like, shows up on cue like a demon. Yeah, like, for, it's perfect timing. And yeah, it's like a summoning spell. She just screams his name, and he shows up. And then we get to see them pretty much have a weird fight, but it was still inter entertaining. Mm. <laughs> that's funny when she stole the corners, man, though. <laughs> Afterwards. <laughs> Look at that! And I was like, damn, she's pissed. Yeah, seriously. Oh, that's really bright blue. It was. I saw it on the camera, like, it turned really yeah. bright blue in the background. <laughs> it's hurting my eyes. There we go. That'll work for now. Oh, yeah, my eyes gotta adjust. <laughs> Ah! Now, like I said before, Maniacs, this is not going to be like your typical review. If you want to see like a, a review, like a full movie of the... Oh yeah, we forgot to mention. There are spoilers in this movie. There are tons of spoilers. But if you want to see a review that's not like ours, uh, we, my good buddy Richard, who, who has a YouTube channel called Rick Pete and OWUK, he does the Halloween movie reviews too. Go check him out and go subscribe to him. Great. Anyways, then we finally get to see the fight, and the, then I don't know where J Jamie starts throwing knives at him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess she learned from the Hidden Leaf Village. <laughs> she, she had some good knife throws. Yeah. And then I don't know where she gets... Uh, <coughs> you right? Yeah. And then she gets like a, like a uh, drawer. Michael stabs it, and she knees him... In the ball sack. Yeah. And he doesn't react. He's just like... It's because he's a ball chinian, like in Men in Black. Oh, God. <laughs> he's a ball chinian. <laughs> what? <laughs> ball chinian. And uh, then I don't know where then the, um, we, uh, uh, Jamie, like, pretty much gets a knife, starts stabbing Michael, and then he falls up, lands through the table. Oh, yeah, he's all falling like this here. He's my daughter to demonstrate... <laughs> He's just like, Ooh. it was like slow motion, pretty much. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> and if you're thinking, did she get scared at all? No, she laughed. <laughs> Let me tell you something. My daughter's a little psychopath. She likes to watch The Walking Dead. I'm on the, it's on the first season, and then there's this scene where the walkers attack their campsite and start eating a bunch of people. Yeah, look at that. She's already smiling. 
And she laughs. She laughed. And she dances to the theme song. And I don't know. Maybe I'm raising the spawn of Satan. I'm not quite <laughs> sure. Then Jamie goes downstairs, gets the knife that she stabbed Michael with, getting ready to stab him again. And here comes LL Cool J. Yeah. And, I um, forgot what his name was in the movie. I'm just going to call him LL Cool J. Yeah. And it stops that black guy. Yeah. <laughs> and he just says, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah. Which is typical horror movie saying, like, he dead, fool. <laughs> and uh, then I don't know where Jamie realizes, like, no, no. I know he's not dead. So she gets the axe again, grabs the security guard's, uh, like, police officer's gun, and... You sure she's not Jigsaw? <laughs> no, Kevin McAllister from Home Alone is Jigsaw. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been interesting. <laughs> been a good twist. Home Alone saw. Home Alone saw. Now, I'm going to leave this part for you because this is the one part you remember the most from the horror movie. Oh, yeah. The only part that is stuck in my brain from that movie, from the, for not seeing it for 20 years, is when she cuts off Michael's head. She steals a van with his body in it because she knows he's going to live and yells the corners, like I said earlier, Load him up! So they load him up. She drives off. She's got that fucking fire axe still that she got. When they were in their showdown, locked inside the school, Hillcrest. I was like, shit's about to get real. But she drives all the way out, in the, out into the mountains towards the woods and shit. And just, he pops out of the body bag. And they get into a brawl. And then she hits him with the van. And he's hanging on the front. And then they end up spinning it down a hill. And he's just going tumble, 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 tumble. And he gets pinned between the tree and the van. Michael got got the worst out of that one. Yeah, he did. He got fucked up. <laughs> and then he like had a moment of recognition where he was like, Huh? That's my sister. And reached out for her to help him. And she like barely touched his hand. And what does she do? She red queens his ass. Do you think Michael, if she did grab his hand, do you think Michael would have killed her? Uh, that could have gone either way. That could have been like, Oh... I'm sorry for being such a deranged fuckhead. For 20 years. <laughs> yeah, put me back in the insane asylum, and I'll probably never get out again, but come visit. Or she could have helped him, and he could have cut her head off, or stabbed her 90 million times. <laughs> and that's how the movie ended, where Jamie cut Michael's head off. She did, she ran queen that shit. She's like, ah, put his head. So what do you rate? What do you, do you like about Halloween H two O? I liked the how Michael was dominant, but I liked how Jamie was a badass in the movie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was like, other than this one that's about to come out, I'm pretty sure that was the only one she was like a badass in, because she was a little kid in the other ones. She felt like a damsel in distress in the uh, first two. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. So, it's like, what do you do? Like, and the fact that they're bringing her back for this new one, I just... It's weird to see her old. Like, she's always been, like, middle-aged to me. Mm -hmm. But now she's a little shorter, and she's got long, gray, curly hair. So, it's weird to see her as an old woman. Like, it doesn't... It's like Betty White. When she dies, I'm not going to believe it because she's just been old forever. She's like, like 96 right now? Jesus Christ. Like, she's one of those women who have always been old. And she's not going to... I don't think she's ever going to die. Or Keith Richards. He's been alive forever, too. <laughs> He's been old forever. It's just... They have immortality. That's all I have to say. I agree they do. In, in, in right there. Someone's calling me. Uh oh. It's okay. It's alright. Okay. Anyways, um. What do you rate Halloween H2? Uh, well, it wasn't as killtastic as all the others. And it wasn't. Like, it was kind of drawn out and slow. But it was. The ending was like a perfect way to sum it up. It was. Because, like, you get... That should have been, like, yeah, I understand Rob Zombie made his two movies, Halloween 1 and 2. Which I which, will get to. Yes. And those were really good, actually. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. 
Sorry. Um, <laughs> but Sorry. I just, they're really, really good. Yeah, I agree. And Rob Zombie's got this weird knack for horror. Devil's uh, Rejects. Devil's Rejects, House of the Thousand Corpses, which came before that. And uh, this third one that's coming out. So do you think Halloween H2O is like, like this, a middle? I give it about... Let's see, let's use a star system. Overall, I'll give it like a four and a half. And that's I sure. give it a three and a half. Yeah, because four and a half is pushing a little bit. And this is this is coming from a guy for like for me. I love the it, Halloween movies, but I could tell which ones are good and which ones are bad. Because it kind of wanes a little bit. It's like eh. yeah, it's a, it's a, it's like this, like like finger, like yeah, it's like threes. Yeah. I think three and a half is an overall fair number. Yeah, three and a half. Yeah. I give it three and a half. Because, like, four, like I said, four and a half is pushing it. But overall, it it's like the ending of the story. That's what it was supposed to be. And then, uh-oh. Somebody's just sleepy. But, and then you go night-night. No. Night-night. 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 <laughs> Well, anyways, Maniacs, thank you for watching our review. Sorry about the camera dying on us. But uh, we're we're back doing the Halloween reviews. We got, okay, the 19th is today, Friday. Yeah, so that's in five days. Five days now. So I got five days until we do these uh, Halloween reviews. Since I'm officially done with 2K19, my career, I can focus on those again. Right. Which okay. Mike will be playing. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Oh, Mike, we can find you on YouTube called Team Lawson. That's your yeah, YouTube channel. Yeah, I haven't been on in a grip, but... Well, he's been busy. Yeah, dad life. <laughs> dad, dad life, though. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to Team Lawson. Please, because the more subscribers, the more I can feel motivated to do stuff. <laughs> it just takes time. Though. It does take time. But she takes a lot of time, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe to our right. Wrestling Observer. Sorry, everybody. Let me show my belly. <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wrestling Observer. Hit that notification bell for more YouTube videos. I love you, Maniacs. And don't forget, Halloween Resurrection is coming soon. Love you, Maniacs. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hit the stop button.